Hey guys, Jake from Evolving Daily. Thanks for watching. So a lot of guys end up spending 50 to like 400 and something bucks on some kind of setup to be able to carry a pistol when they have basketball shorts, sweatpants, something like that on. And I'm going to show you how at the most $4 can give you a very stable platform, platform to carry a pistol while you're in something that doesn't have belt loops. All right, guys. So the uh, so the deep concealment or some kind of option with uh, to be able to carry in basketball shorts, sweatpants, anything without belt loops. That's its own like part of the market now. There's all different kind of like under the pants fanny packs that you put your gun in and it's not rigid. Or the, a lot of the ones I've seen aren't rigid. But guys spend you know 50, 60, whatever bucks on those, or they go out and buy a shield, you know something a lot smaller and another Kydex rig and have an ulti clip put on it. Not saying there's anything wrong with the ulti clip and all that, but uh, there's a real easy way to get around all that. And at the most it's going to cost you four bucks. And it's pretty stable, pretty secure. Um, I like it. I carry a big gun this way. Um, so I'm wearing regular like basketball shorts, two pockets, just like a, being a lazy day wearing a pair of short paints. I'm carrying a 17 with a TLR1, and sometimes I carry um, a, a backup gun just because if I'm going to be out wandering around with somebody and we're both wearing shorts, I'm going to be able to give them a gun. But anyhow, how do you do it? How do you carry while you're uh, um, in these kind of clothes? Now this is where it gets super tricky and extra high speed, so you need to pay attention. I wear my normal rig underneath my basketball shorts. So I'll take it off. So this is a Glock 17 with a light, uh, TLR 1 and some letters. Like I don't know. Um, I don't know how it's going to pick up, but an original SOE, inch and a half rigid Cobra belt, regular, just what I wear a lot of the time. A Green Force rig. This one's pancake. Um, 17 with a light. Anyhow, so I just put that on, pull my shorts back up over it to about here-ish, and go on about my day. There is one little part um, that may not be perfect for guys, and that's where you might have to spend the four dollars. I know that's a lot of money, but you may spend four bucks. I'm still kind of <coughs> I'm still kind of experimenting with that, but what I did was take a bicycle inner tube from the Walmart. Can you see it there? Nah. This one's like 16 inches long or something. I cut out the the valve and just put cut halfway through it on one side and bobbed and weaved my belt through it. On the inside it never comes back through. It's all rubber all the way around but on the outside just to keep the belt in place and because I, I did have a little bit of sliding because I wear like slick um, almost an Under Armour type boxer brief when I'm wearing shorts um, and the the nylon would slide on it a little bit it might I mean my gun never went around to the side or anything but and I wear my belt fairly loose when I do this um, but this I just was talking about it to a guy and I thought well I might try putting something on there to make it super rigid that way everybody would be happy with it because I know somebody would bitch watch well, sled three inches to the left or something well move it back it's not like you're wearing basketball shorts all day every day but literally I just put the belt on pull my short over, shirt over top of it then take my shorts over top the belt and get it up to about the top of the belt. So now I've got my pistol, my regular belt, shorts up to the top, and a couple times during the day it may creep up a little bit, but that beats the ass off spending fifty to five hundred dollars on you know an extra rig and a rig to put it in and a, all this and that. Um, I carry this way 
I've been doing this for about a year, but obviously I only wear shorts maybe a day a week. But over the last week, I've been trying to wear shorts more and wear it this way. And where I said deep concealment, um, since it's not attached to your pants, I don't know how I should. Meh, hey, my neck. I don't know how I should do this, but you know the deep concealment thing where the gun is basically below your belt. Well, you pull out on them shorts, and you can do these with like cargo shorts too. But pull out on the shorts a little bit, drop that old girl down, and like the top of the gun is below my big old fat belly. So 300 parallel, guys. This is another good extension of that. <coughs> but anyhow guys I know there will be some questions and comments and that won't ever fucking work and that's not secure I've rolled around um, jogged a little bit obviously not a big jogger um, to me for no more than I want to use it um, if you're going to be in basketball shorts every day then yeah it would be worth the investment um, to buy one of those other options but guys for me it works out really well and I didn't have to spend but four bucks, 388 I think. So guys, let me know what you think. Um, if you guys have any other little hacks like that, we'll share them down in the comments. That way we can all live life a little easier. But I do appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe. Tell me I'm an asshole. Leave a comment, do whatever. Um, but remember, you need to be prepared to thrive while others survive. Thanks.